Beaver, 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 beaver. Beaver, beaver. No, no, no. Bad time for lag. Bad time for lag. No, 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 no. Gappy! Gappy, save me! What's going on, guys? This is Creepy here, and welcome back to Ark Evolve Evolved. This is episode 20, and last episode, we tamed a new Ankylosaurus, and that was fun. We have gotten lots and lots of metal from him, from her. Her! I meant her. We've gotten lots of metal from her so far. I'm just chilling here at the castle, because... You know, what's, you know what's going on today, guys? You know what today is? It's update day. That's right, guys. It is update day. I am uploading this the day of the update so you guys don't miss the content. And they've added a lot of content. Let me just let me just read off the list. Arcs, awesome anniversary, one week event. Get ready to make some birthday wishes for limited run items. New creature, Diplodocus. New creature, Leech. New structure, Training Dummy. Uh, new mechanic, Diseases and Cures. Tribe Groups Phase 2, Dragon Arena. Option for PvE services, that doesn't matter. Server option override per item crafting cost, doesn't matter to us. And server option override the loot tables for each kind of supply crate, which we will do because the supply crates right now are absolutely useless. Um, add a follow range, low, medium, far setting per tame dino. Finally! Finally, okay, I'm going to mess around with that right now because that is something that I've been wanting for a while. Alright, Armageddon, you uh, fall distance from medium, from, okay, it's on high right now. Alright. So let's get on pretzel. Shut up phone. And we will have Armageddon follow Quetzel. Follow distance. Hi. Ooh, it actually says. Okay. Armageddon, follow pretzel. Let's see if you get stuck in his ass. You still kinda do. Y yeah, you still you still really do. But I don't think it's as bad. Never mind, it's just as bad. Maybe it'll be different for land dinos, I don't know. But, yeah, that's the follow distance. There's obviously some effect that I can see. But, I don't know. This is something that's going to be really helpful. But I just wish it would be more helpful for Quetzals. Because the Quetzals are the biggest pain in the ass for following. Alright, Armageddon, get over here. Yeah, because of their like little glide thing when they try to slow down, they just like kind of glide forward. It doesn't really help too much with that, since it still has the same effect. <laughs> All right, but let me continue. Uh, offline rating prevention. We don't care about that. Added Alpha Mosasaurus. That's right. They've added an Alpha Mosasaurus, Mosasaurus, whatever you want to call it. Um, they've Alpha creatures XP reduced by 45% for some reason. Auto turrets can noble. We don't care about that because we can just disable it. Uh, plant turrets will not consume per fertilizer per shot. Approximate 100% increase of sauropod and paraceratherium weight stats. Uh, breeding mechanics phase 2. Interactive baby raising, which we will do next episode, guys. Uh, optional RBG stat mode. Displays floating in world. Uh, uh, fix issue or cross platform quick So, they've, they've fixed a few things. They've added a few things. But today, we are going to tame a Diplodocus. And you guys know what the kibble for that is. Just take a, just take a random guess. I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple seconds. Think about it. Well, if you said Lystrosaurus, you would be correct. So I wasn't crazy in taming all those Lystros. I was not crazy at all. I was taking precautions to tame. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, I almost forgot to make the saddle. I almost forgot to make the saddle. I have no idea where this thing spawns, but I'm assuming it's gonna spawn uh, around the same areas as Brontos, since they're both sauropods. Which means long neck thingies. That's exactly what sauropod means, long neck thingies. So let's go in here. Uh, saddles, can I make it? Yeah, I can. <laughs> That's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, it's actually really cheap. Considering... Uh, there, considering there are ten seats on each saddle. It has ten seats. Bring lots of friends. I don't have any friends. <laughs> oh well. <coughs> I'm gonna have to get used to it. And apparently, it's not a passive tame, which I would have expected it to be. I really would have expected it to be a passive tame, because... Oh, let me just scan up for you guys. Sorry, I didn't even notice. There we go, that's better. I thought it would be a passive tame, because the dossier says it does not fight people. It just nuzzles against people. And that, apparently, it's not going to be good for fighting either. <laughs> like... Oh crap, forgot food. I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff today. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. 
Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff, guys. Uh, I, I, I'm a mess. I'm a, I'm a mess. Uh, what's wrong with me? I'm a big mess. I'm a big goopy mess, that's what she said. <laughs> so, I think, whoa. What the hell? Okay then. Um, you okay there, pretzel? Oh wait, was that the food thing? Because apparently they eat really fast now. And I think that might have been it? Because I wasn't getting attacked by anything. Alright, let's get off here. Let's see. Are you going to do something? All right. I'm going to go score to the kill farm. And let's see if it does something. Because that was really, really weird. I was like, ah! This was getting damaged, but I don't think it was. We are back, and we have made it to the Kibble Farm, and just my luck, it's foggy and raining. Alright, so now, let's gonna land, and let's see what Pretzel does. Are you gonna take magic damage from nowhere? Oh, hey, Argy. Hey, Argy. Hey, Argy. So it doesn't seem like it's doing it anymore. But, let's go ahead and... Oh, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna game it down. Game it down, I said, because it's really bright. All right. What does it take to even make Lystro Kibble? Um, let me just grab one of everything. And we'll see. Let's get some of that. And then let's get that. And let's get... Where are they? These Lystro eggs. You have 55 already. Let's put them in here. We don't have much fiber, so we're going to go and get some. So I'm going to run out and get some fiber. Need fiber for a well-balanced diet. It gives us, it can give us the runs, kind of. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Server lag. There we go. It's all fixed though. Let's go over here. Get some fiber. Wow, I was getting a lot of, I was getting a lot more fiber yesterday. There we go. That's a lot of fiber I was talking about. <laughs> Let me just get a whole bunch. Shut up, phone. I don't need you in my life. Well, kind of do. Because phone is life. Internet is life. Technology is life. Where did that come from? <laughs> but apparently there's a bug with the Quetzal where it eats a lot, which I'm not really seeing yet. But, I don't know. People are complaining a lot. People are complaining. Well, surprise, surprise. People are complaining a lot in the forums about it, but I'm not really seeing it. Alright, let's see what all it takes. Let's see what kind of jerky it takes first. Are you gonna make... Am I forgetting something? I don't think so. Maybe it's... Maybe it's just like regular cooked meat? Or like regular... Let me just put this in here and see. Why is it not crafting? Why is it not crafting? I'm gonna look up the recipe for Listro Kibble. And, um, I'll be right back. Um, I figured out how to make the kibble. <coughs> Apparently, you make it using Tinto Berries instead of Majo Berries. I don't know why, but let me just go ahead and turn off chat. Whoops. Turn off chat. But for some reason, make it using Mejos. I mean, not Mejos, Tinto Berries. I think it's just a bug, because I remember them... Yeah, I remember them talking about it. And I was like, oh yeah, Tinto Berries. Maybe they didn't actually fix it. I thought they fixed it. <coughs> but apparently they didn't yet. And I might, might just have to update the server again. <coughs> yeah. But, yeah, apparently they didn't fix it after all. But oh well. What are you gonna do? Early access, blah blah blah, bugs and all that. Let's put all that back in there. Just, let me just put those in there, because might as well. Over here, let me put that right there. Let me just kind of reorganize all this, because I like being organized. Let me just put that there. And that there. There we go. Now let me put the Lystro eggs in here. 
There you go. So that's how I make the kibble, everyone, in case you guys didn't know. At first I thought the cooking pot was broken, so I made another one, but that didn't turn out to be the case. Because after that I made some Pomo Scorpius kibble. I made one, and it worked just fine. I'm just looking for eggs. Look! Rex egg. Thank you. Uh, there's a scorpion egg. Get that. Another scorpion egg. No, I didn't mean to open your inventory. And I won't open your inventory. Let me pick up your poopy egg. Oh, I just heard one poop. That's not no, that's not healthy. Well, actually, it's very healthy, but it's not nice to do. Do you guys have have you guys ever laid any eggs? I have yet to get a single egg from you. Oh wait, you're all girls. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to actually get a guy, the guy raptor. And one poop. No, it was a poop. It didn't lay an egg. I thought I saw an egg there for a second. Any more? Let's throw eggs. I don't think I need any more. I might as well though. Let me pick you up and you up. Let me just pet all of you because you're all good boys and girls. Might as well. Any dodo eggs? Oh, yes, there are. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Are there any dialo eggs? Yes, sir. Indubitably, there are. This was made like 15 minutes ago. Any Parasaur eggs? Parasaur? Not Parasaur. Nope. Any Carno eggs? Carno, Carno, Carno. Nope. Turtle eggs? Yep, turtle egg. Thank you. I think someone came to get all the turtle eggs as they were teaming a Bronto, but oh well. Community egg farm. So, gotta share. Sharing is nice. Yeah, they definitely took it. There you go. I made that one. Scrippy kill. Alright, so now, let's begin the journey to find the mystical Diplodocus. Which I have no clue where they spawn. Oh, that's kind of bright. Gamma. There we go. Now, I'm assuming... <coughs> uh, i assuming. I'm assuming <laughs> they spawn around the same area as Stegos do. So, I'm going to check over at the floating island. Just to see. Never know. Okay, now I'm starting to see what they mean by um, Quetzal's food going down fast. Because look at that. Yeah, it's going down like one, like two every second. That's kind of crazy. But what are you going to do? I think it's just a bug. Let's ho hope it's a bug anyway. I don't think it's intended. Uh, are there any Diplodocuses over here? Shut up, phone. I don't need you in my life right now. Actually, I do. There's a kangaroo. <laughs> uh, there's some ankylos. And a... I thought I saw a doe, but it was just a saber tooth. There's a doe over there. Are there any diplos over here? Okay, what level are you anyway? Kangaroos are awesome. Ah, screw it. I don't need you in my life. Not at all. I don't need a kangaroo in my life. I need for some kangaroos too. Never... I don't know. I've never had kangaroo. Um, there's a stego over, there's some stegos over here, so they might mean there are some doplo, diplos, diplodocuses, not doplodicuses, doplodicuses, <laughs> um, now this thing is basically like a bus, since this thing will hold 10 passengers, including you, so that's 11 people total, there's a stego, but I'm not seeing any diplodocuses, no Diplodocuses so far. Um, none so far. You know, they're probably spawning around where Brontos are. So I'm going to go ahead and look around for a while. And I will... <coughs> I'll bear it back as soon as I find one, if I ever do. <laughs> I'm back. And I found a Giga. Found a Giga. Oh, that's Cappy. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these beaver dams and Gappy kinda surprised me. Hey Gappy! <laughs> that was kind of fun. I just saw a gig and I was like, shit, what am I gonna do? Shut up, phone. Beaver, 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 beaver! Beaver, beaver! No, 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 bad time for lag. Bad time for lag. No, 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 no. Gappy! Gappy, save me! Oh, oh, there's a lot of beavers. Holy crap. Holy crap! <laughs> like four beavers. But Gappy's just doing his own thing, I guess. So Gappy, you do you. Oh, there's a lot of beavers. Why so many? <laughs> I just want your beaver dams. 
Still no luck in finding any Diplodocuses. None at all. So this might be a bit of an adventure for me. Because I'm not seeing any. I assume they'd be around where Brontos are. So I found a bunch of Brontos, but not a single Diplodocus. Oh hey. Another person. Hey, what? What's he saying? I'll show you where Diplo is. Sure. One sec. I want to get these beaver dams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's doing the thing again. The Quetzal's doing the thing again. Whenever it eats, it's doing it. It's not actually getting hurt. It's just eating a lot. Which is really weird. Because that's kind of crazy. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, maybe it is getting hurt. Yeah, there's a couple of beavers. No, well, it wasn't getting hurt because there would be, there would have been battle music. But there's no battle music. Well, there wasn't any battle music. But apparently he knows where Diplodocuses are. So I'm going to follow him. Oh. Oh, these things are, he these things are like, yeah, these things look exactly like mini Brontos. Well, where are you, buddy? Level 35? Nah. It's like... It's like nuzzling up against me. <laughs> it like does not hurt at all. Hey, buddy. Hey. You like, don't hurt. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, Beaver's still after me. Beaver's still after me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bad time. I want to find a higher level. I wanna try to find a higher level. But thanks. So yeah, this thing looks like it looks kinda awesome. Even for level 35, it's tempting to get. Whoa, that's that's a huge base. Yeah, are we at community base? Like are we like right by community base? Let me see. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, we're like right by community base, that's what I thought. Because I knew they had a base like that. Like right by community island. But, you know. Um, so far that was the first Diplodocus I've seen. And I'm not seeing any others. So, I assumed it would be a passive tame, but it doesn't seem to be the case. There's that same Diplodocus. I think it's the same anyway. Is it the same? I said, is it the same? Is it the same? Finally. Yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Alright, I'll be right back. As soon as I find... Are those beavers still after me? What is after me? Freaking... Oh, God. Oh, I hate bugs. I hate these bugs. Alright, so I'm gonna I'll be right back as soon as I find a high level Diplodocus and I'll be right back again people. We're back everyone and we have found a 140 female Diplodocus. So it is time to start the tranking process. Let us begin. Wait, does this thing I hope this thing oh god. Please tell me this thing can fit on a quet saddle platform. So this will make it actually stand out without sliding off. If not, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Because I highly doubt I'm able to pick it up. And game lag. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, server. Thanks a lot. It's staring at me. It's giving me a weird... It's giving me a really weird smile. Oh, don't tell me I'm lagging out. Don't tell me I lagged out. Don't tell... Okay, thank you. Thank you freaking server. This is poopy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> it's giving me a big old smile. <laughs> it looks so derpy. Alright, I don't think the hitch is registering in the face, so I'm just going to shoot it in the body. It's so derpy looking. <laughs> <coughs> oh, this shouldn't take too long with my Mastercraft crossbow. Because I think it's already running away. If the game stops freezing up on me. Yeah, it's already running away. <laughs> so... Yeah, it obviously does not have too much torpor. 
or it's just going in a wide ass circle. Yeah, it's just going in a huge circle. This thing's turning radius must be terrible. <laughs> Hopefully it's better when I'm riding it. Oh, that was down already. <laughs> it did like a weird flinch. Hello, buddy. That really... Oh, dear God. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> that thing looks weird. It looks weird. Oh, it's face. It looks so derpy. Game. Game. Thank you. Oh, God. It looks so derpy. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm going to shoot you in the face once. Yeah, that counted. Thank you. <laughs> you look so derpy. You look so weird and derpy. I don't think I'm going to bother on the face because sometimes it hits Yeah. Sometimes it hits right registering. Like that it registered. But when it doesn't flinch, it doesn't register, but it flinched. Alright. Oh god, this thing is so derpy. I, I did not bring any narcotics, did I? I forgot narcotics. Hopefully I don't need any. Because hopefully kibble's enough. It tames like a stego, so it's not as long as a bronto. Well, at least that's what Peter said. Come on, game. Stop freezing up on me. Okay, this thing is going to be annoying. <laughs> it, like, does not hurt me at all. Oh, God! That hurt me. That hurt me a lot. Well, not a lot, but, you know. Where'd my... What the heck is my Quetzal doing up there? Just what's my Quetzal doing up there? Pretzel! Pretzel! What are you doing? Control! Oh, God. Lag, no. Lag, lag, no, no. Alright, Pretzel, get over here. Pretzel, get over here! What are you doing? Stop standing there, thank you! Oh god, Pretzel, you're stupid! I swear you're special. Okay. So let me shoot this thing right in the butt. Hopefully it goes down soon. Probably gonna take a lot of darts, thank god I brought a lot. What are you doing, Pretzel? Don't let this thing push you around. It doesn't even hurt. So why does it do knockback? Huh? That was a weird shot. Alright. I have a feeling it's gonna take a while, guys. So I'll be right back as soon as this thing goes down. It's down, guys! It is finally down. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Alright, so... Now let's get the kibble in it. And... Oh, God. And now let's... Let's check the torpor drain. See how fast it actually is. Because people were saying it's a lot, but I think they were just trolling. Because they were like making joke, like, they were making like joke, some joke threads. Oh god. Don't tell me I hit the dip, dip low. I just want to clear the trees. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is too much to ask. Because a tree that's literally right beside me I can't get. Alright, so now let's put the kibble in. Oh hey. Oh shit. Okay, it's not getting hurt, it's just eating. That's really weird. Alright, so. Torpor drain. About one every second. Okay. It's already it already ate. Oh, this might take more than okay. I did not bring enough kibble. Um <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask someone to make up some more kibble for me and bring it here. So I'll be right back as soon as this thing's tamed up. So see you guys in a bit. And we're back! This thing is finally tamed up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna name it. But this thing was a giant pain in the ass, and I never wanna deal with another one again in my life. Well, I think it was just location that Oh, God, really? Really? Is that how you want to do it? Get out of my way. Thank you. Now, this thing was a pain in the ass. Not the actual taming, but just the location we're in. Because they're... Oh, my God. Not this. Anything but the front flip shit. All right. Whistle you. Simple way to fix it. Go down here, make a move to me, so unfollow, and there you go. And that fixed it. Alright, so this thing was a pain in the ass because of the location we're in. There was a raptor that came by at just the moment that my game decided to freeze. And I just happened to be standing right by the Diplodocus. So of course the Diplo took a few hits. And then, out of nowhere, 
well, not out of nowhere, but it, it was running out of kibble. So I put some berries in his inventory. I went to go make some more kibble. And when I came back, there was a Bronto attacking the spike wall. So I had to kill the Bronto, and to kill the Bronto, I had to hit the dip though a couple times. So its total efficiency was at like 85%. It's not bad, but oh my god, was it a pain in the ass. And I was not about to wake it up and redo it all again. Because that would make it all worse, because I have to go back and make even more kibble, and then even more problems would arise, and this thing was just a pain in general. So now that it is done, I don't even know if it can stand on a Quetzal platform. I hope it can, but um, I highly doubt it, because it's kind of big, so I'm not sure if it can. Since a Bronto can't, well I think the only reason why a Bronto can't is because it's a platform itself. But if it's the same as a Bronto, then... Really? Now you decide to lag, thank you. Alright, sorry I'm just a bit irritated at this. Alright, so now that it's actually up, we can actually get the... We can actually get the saddle on. Oh god, not again. What is it? What is it now? What is it? Nothing's getting hurt. That was a freaking di- Why is a Dilo after a Quetz anyway? Seriously? Oh god, why do Dilos attack Quetz? What now? Nothing, that's what I thought. Alright. Now this thing is actually pretty big. I didn't think it would be that big. <clears throat> I thought it would be about Stego size. I made about 22 more kibble. So, yeah. Alright. So this thing has 10 seats and- Look at his running animation. Alright, I'm gonna go into K mode so you guys can see it's running. Okay. Can, can, game. Game. Please. Stop. Please. Game. Stop it. Alright, his stamina's really good. Alright, so let's go into K mode and so you guys can see his running animation. Look at that. It's just really, really, really derpy. Like, really derpy. <laughs> Does that have anything for right click? No. Does that have anything for C? No. Its attack is really weird. But it can actually collect berries, which is nice, which I ex expected it to, because, yeah. Does it have a tail swipe? No, it does not. It doesn't have a tail swipe. But it gets a lot of thatch. It's good I have a new thatch machine. Alright, so now the ultimate test. Does this thing actually get on a Quetzal platform? I highly doubt it does, but we might as well try. But if it doesn't, this thing is going to be a pain in the behind to get home. Because we are literally across the map. So if it does not get on a Quetzal platform, then we might just bring it to community base for now. Right, so we can get up here, which is good. There's a bunch of saddles for it. I'm going to enable public riding, just in case. Just because. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, look at this wheel. Enable public seating. Okay, this thing might be a little difficult to deal with. Because of that giant wheel thing. Alright, so let's try... Oh, God. Don't. Don't mess with me, Ark. Alright, I'm just gonna whistle you. Now, come over here. I said come over here. I said come over here. Are you stupid? Oh, my God. Really? Ugh, why? Why? Ugh. Uh, from what I could tell, it didn't look like it could get on a Quetzal platform. Because it looked like it just slid off. But I'm still gonna hope. Still gonna hope that it works. Although I doubt it will. Because Ark does not like me today. So... Nope, it does not go on a... <sighs> Why? Why can't it go on a platform? Just why? <laughs> All right. Let's hope it, let's hope we can at least fight stuff. Cause when it was wild, it couldn't fight anything. So let me just go against this Fiomia over here. Let me just get the Fiomia or this Tyrant on. That'll work too. Nope, it doesn't hit anything. Nothing at all. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's a Quetzal. What's a There's a tamed Quetzal over there. Who does it belong to? Let's see, where's my... There it is! Right, that is level 10. Oh! 
Oh, someone was messaging me about. Get out of my way! You piece of poop. Out of my way. Alright, uh. Oh god, really, Dilo? Really, why are you going after me? Why does a Dilo of all things go after me? Why do Dilos go after anything anymore? Seriously? Why should a Dilo go after this thing? Get out of here. This thing doesn't do any damage, does it? Oh, it has a good- oh, it has a really good amount of health, but... Of course, this melee stat does not do anything, because it can't hit anything. So I just put up its movement speed. So this thing... Might be my new weight guy? Well... Not new. My only weight land I know. Oh my god, game! <laughs> Please, do not mess with me right now. Oh god. Alright. Phone, shut up! Alright. So I'm, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here, because I do not have the patience to bring this back to my base right now. So, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or what things you want me to do, which are, which are suggestions. Uh, so I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.